Hey, it's Jade, AKA Jay Collarts, and this is my first YouTube video ever. Thank you so much if you are already a subscriber because I'm about to hit 1,000 subscribers and I don't even have any videos up yet. So, y'all amazing. Uh, you're probably expecting some good content from me or something and that's exactly what you're gonna get. But we're gonna start off with an introduction to me because you know this is a different side of me it's like my face and my voice instead of just my voice and my art <laughs> there will be my art too a lot of it trust me okay so i am jade collins i'm a 19 year old full-time artist as of recently um you most likely know me because of my custom shoes on tiktok specifically Doc Martens. I do more than paint shoes. Um, I've actually been painting since I was nine years old and I'm 19 now. I started painting shoes at 18. It became kind of like a full, not, no, 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 no. It became like a part-time job to me, um, like my senior year of high school and the summer going into college. Um, but I kind of had to, give up on it a little bit because, you know, I had to go to school and school is a full-time commitment. But I did go to art school and I learned so many cool, fun, new things and I did really well in school, but when COVID hit and we were all sent back, um, I came to the decision that it was best for me to not go back uh, and take a gap year. It was a big weight off my chest, just knowing that I, you know, followed my gut. And then right as I decided to go, uh, decided to stay home, not go back, um, and just continue working at Starbucks, I, you know, got that message from Jessica Brennan, who is an artist that I seriously admire so much. Like, she's literally my idol. So when she messaged me saying she wanted custom docs, I was like, anything for you. This is what I ended up getting. So clearly it was a success. It was more than a success. I mean, it went viral and now I'm at this point where I have a massive amount of support towards my art where I could do it full time, which is my dream. So it's all perfect timing, really. Like I've been uh, struggling a little bit because I'm doing it all by myself and it's a lot to take on, uh, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna love it. Without further ado, let's begin this channel with a big bang. I gotta grab it. <laughs> Let's paint. <laughs> Let's paint this Louis Vuitton tote bag. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. I have a design, um, but it's more of like a drawing. Um, purposely made as a drawing so I could, you know, share it with you guys. Posters. Magnets, stickers, pillows, face masks. <laughs> so I have a drawing for it. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I can't wait to receive all the posters and prints and fun things to sell on my Etsy. And here it is, I love it. She shines. OMG guys, okay. Don't know exactly how I'm gonna put it onto the bag, but you know, that's what I'm about to figure out. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so let's uh, get going. Uh, you know what, before I even start, I'm gonna just show you all the materials that I'm going to use throughout this project. Start off with a jelly roll pen. I love it. Next, we use the leather prepare and deglazer. I use Angelus. I use all the Angelus products. I hope I'm saying it right. But yeah, I use very small paint brushes too because I am a very detailed person. But I also use Pasca markers, um, fine point 
Posca paint markers. This is my kit. Yes, it's in a Vans box. Posca paint markers are so nice and I use them a lot for shoes and people think that the, it would come off, but it really doesn't as long as you seal it. I really haven't had any problems with it myself. Acrylic paint actually, uh, it adheres really well to leather. And for a very long time, I was just using acrylic paints and sometimes like a preparer and then I would always, 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 always use a sealer. Um, but now I've kind of switched over to Angelus products because I'm investing in myself like that. And I'm just showing you one of the paints, which is gold. It's, I love gold. Yeah, Angelus. And then after I paint it, acrylic finisher, satin. I need to get a bigger bottle than this, <laughs> but she cute. I'm gonna sketch this real quick. Give me a second. Voila. Easy peasy. I should probably do the back, but that's gonna be for tomorrow. This is a great start and yeah, I'm excited to see, you know, where it goes. Let me just, and here we got the back. The outline's pretty much done. It's just dragon, it's basically a dragon border. Let's do this. I just got to change. That was easy. Uh, well, I hope you're ready to paint because I am. Alright, well, I stopped it with a big pink fluffy pillow. Prepare and deglazer by Angelus once again, and I'm just gonna kind of fill in the outline with it lightly, and then I can paint. Yeah, and then, and then we'll paint. I just realized that yesterday when I was recording, I was talking to the camera for like five minutes and it was in time-lapse mode. So um, pretty much all I was saying was uh, <laughs> when I want to mix colors um, and I don't want to waste paint, I put them in here, mix them in there, and then later on when I need that specific color, like lilac and mint, <laughs> then I have them. But yeah, that's just a little tip and trick. And here's my progress. This is three. Three, three. And uh, I think I'm um, very far, but there we go. I wanted to share this moment. The first touch of gold to the bag. Let's get back to painting.
Uh, so I love it. Wow. I never expected to be painting on a Louis Vuitton bag, but here I am. What's wonderful about the way I did this is the fact that I made a drawing so that if you guys love this design, you want it, well, you can get a poster of it. A 16 by 20 poster. You could get a magnet. I'll connect it because they're magnets. You could get a sticker or you could get a holographic sticker. You know, I love when she shines. You know, I love when she shines. I'm also waiting on some face masks uh, and a pillow. So I'm super excited. Those will be for sale once I have them. So I can, you know, make sure that they're beautiful quality for all you beautiful people. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm super, 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 super happy. <laughs> super happy with how it turned out. Like, I... Yeah. And if you're still here, if you're still watching, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you for watching my first ever YouTube video. I hope you liked it. And my editing skills will get better over time. I really don't know what I'm doing in the YouTube world yet. But yeah, uh, leave some comments of questions you have, like videos you want me to make, whether you want um, how-to videos, like tutorial videos, or even just stuff in my life. Like I'll give you a, a room tour or a studio tour or an office tour. <laughs> Um, you could go over all the different materials I have. You could just ask questions about me and who I am. Like, that's what this is all about. You guys get to see the behind the scenes, the, you know, this side. My life. My life. My art. That's it, yeah. I don't have a signing off yet. So for now, uh, bye. You guys are amazing, and I am so lucky to have all of you. <laughs> so uh, this is my signing off. Peace out.